how an equation works, we're going to have a banana party. Everyone has to bring some bananas, as many as you like. Celeste brought three bananas and her little bro Jack brought four. But hey, Thomas brought seven. Can you see something? Let's count Celeste's and Jack's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bananas all together. Coincidentally, this is the same number of bananas that Thomas brought. It looks like adding three and four bananas together is the same as having seven bananas. We can write that in a quicker way by putting a plus sign between Celeste and Jack's bananas to show that we're putting them together. And an equal sign here to say that three and four together add up to seven. And it doesn't matter which order we count them. Three bananas plus four bananas is the same as four bananas plus three bananas. Either way, what's on the left of the equal sign is the same as what's on the right of the equal sign. This is an equation. Of course, the equation could apply also to apples, or bicycles, or budgies, or atoms. Anything that we can count. We can make it more mathematical by replacing the banana pictures with numbers. An equation is like a mathematical sentence and just means that the left and right sides are numerically equal to each other. Makes sense. The word equation comes from the word equal. Of course, if Thomas had brought only six bananas, this wouldn't work. Celeste and Jack's seven bananas are no longer equal to Thomas's six. It's no longer an equation. Sometimes we show this by putting a cancellation stroke through the equal sign to show that the two sides are not equal. Another way is to put an arrow tip which says that the left side is greater than the right side. If Thomas brought eight bananas, then it would be the other way around, with the right side greater than the left side. The open end of the arrow tip always points to the bigger side. Let's get equal again. Another way to think of an equation is to imagine a weight balance. Putting Celeste and Jack's bananas on the left pan will make it move down, showing that the left side is heavier than the right side. Putting Thomas's bananas on the right pan will make them level again, showing that the left pan is equal to the right pan. It's only an equation when the two sides are level. Now we'll take Jack's four bananas off the left pan. The right pan now sinks because it's heavier. If you can only change the right pan's bananas, how could you make them equal again? By removing four bananas from the right pan as well. And it doesn't matter which four bananas you remove. Now the right pan has three bananas, same as the left pan. So it's an equation again. Remember Celeste's three bananas plus Jack's four bananas equal Thomas's seven bananas. We'll do the same balancing trick, but only with numbers this time. Removing Jack's four bananas on the left means that we also have to remove four bananas on the right to keep the two sides equal. In maths, we can do this by subtracting four bananas on the right instead. Wow, did you see that? It looked like we just swapped the 4 from the left side to the right side and changed the plus sign to a minus sign. Let's do that again. It's so quick to swap sides and just change the sign. Here's another trick. Remember we can add the bananas in any order without messing up the equation. Now we can swap the 3 from left to right and change its side. Still works. Mathematicians do this all the time and they often do it in their heads before they do it on paper. 
It's like a game. In the next video, we'll look at multiplication and division and the tricks they use with them.